My dear Holy Rosary Parish family, as many of you have now heard, Archbishop John Wester has appointed the priest who will be my successor here at Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary. As of July 1st, Father Andrew Pavlak, now serving at San Felipe de Neri in Old Town, will come here to walk with you as a community of faith. I apologize for not having released my own statement to this news earlier. We felt it was best for Father Andy to be able to inform his community first of his departure. I speak for Abbot Joel, myself, and our whole Norbertine community when I say how pleased we are with this selection of Father Andy by the Archbishop. As I shared before, I have been in extensive conversations and discernment with a number of possible pastors and with Archdiocesan leadership. Father Andy has my full support and confidence in his ability to lead this community well during this time of transition. I also have been edified by his willingness, his openness, and his desire to become a part of our vibrant community of faith. I'm very much at peace regarding this decision. Of course, each pastor is unique and different, as is each community. We all carry diverse reputations, good and bad, depending on who you consult. I ask of you as a parish family to keep an open mind and heart, trusting in the movement of the Holy Spirit during this time. It is my conviction that the Holy Spirit has been working in this process. As the transition takes place, there will be time for you to get to know Father Andy and for him to get to know you. This emerging relationship is sure to forge something new that God has planned for us all. Following this message, you will find Father Andy's message to both San Felipe and Holy Rosary parishes. He outlines well many of the reasons that made him a good candidate for this role as a pastor during a time of transition. A more personal note that I can add is that Father Andy was actually my pastor at the Aquinas Newman Center at UNM during my time in college. It was then that I began to seriously consider my own vocation as a consecrated person and priest. Because of this, I know personally of the type of pastor Father Andy will be for all of you. After extensive conversations, I also trust in his appreciation for the nature of our community, the now Norbertine heritage of the parish, and his earnest desire to be, as he says, your foot-washing servant. It is with sadness that I prepare to depart my role as your pastor in just over a month. But it is with great joy that I entrust you to the care of a very capable servant. In the coming weeks, we will provide more opportunities for you to get to know your new pastor on a more personal level. I also remind you of our Novena to the Holy Spirit that we may continue to be guided by grace in this time of transition. This will be celebrated at noon daily, beginning May 22nd through May 30th, available via live stream or in the church itself. I look forward to seeing the new things God will bring about in this beautiful family of faith as you embark on this next era of your history. I relish the fact that we will all continue to be brothers, sisters, and friends in Christ.
Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, you were the door through which salvation entered our world, and it was you who witnessed the unfolding of the mystery of salvation. You were filled with apprehension and joy at the coming of your Son, illumined by his ministry and preaching, struck with sorrow as he carried his cross and let go of his spirit, and you who came to share in his glory as he drew you to the kingdom for which we long. May you be with us this day and always. May we, by your intercession, come to see with clarity the unfolding of the Paschal mystery in our midst, that we may be inspired to be a people of trust and enlightened by hope, that we may find in our own uncertainty the truth of the salvation won for us in the light of the resurrection. Walk with us now as you accompany your Son through the tribulations and the triumphs of his life, that we may come to seek his face more deeply in one another and those we encounter, and that we may shine forth ever more brightly the unity that speaks to his truth. Thank mm -hmm. you. 